Today I am here with two very interesting pianos. Now, as you can see, this one, as well as this instrument that's over here, they look very much like a piano, and you might think that it is a very small piano, but where's the music, where's the keyboard? There's no keyboard here. This is not a fallboard, there's no keyboard underneath it here. Instead, there's actually mechanics, because this is, it is a piano, but it's actually a street piano, and it's powered by this crank. If you were to turn it, it would start making noise and actually playing an instrument. Now, both of these come from Madrid, Spain, and uh, if any of you Spanish-speaking people out there um, are able to translate like this there's a little decal in here that I'll give you a close-up of later and uh, maybe you guys can translate it because it's got lots of Spanish writing on it and since it's Castilian Spanish I don't really recognize lots of the words I studied Spanish for a few years but I'm kind of rusty on it and since it's Castilian Spanish I really don't know any of what it's saying but if you come over here and take a quick look at the insides, you're able to see that there are a lot of piano-like mechanisms. We have tuning pins, we have strings, and we also have hammers. Now, I'm going to take this instrument all apart for you and show you the insides and how it works when it's running, because it's really, really fascinating. But I just thought that I'd show you the inside of it right there on the top. So this would be used by a street performer. Uh, he'd sit out in town square and play it and uh, get money and stuff like that. And uh, it's very, very interesting. As you can see, it's very old. And uh, if you guys also have any idea what era this piano might be from, uh, please let me know. I'm willing to bet that it's probably from the 1900s or before. That's my guess. All right, so here is the badge on top of the street piano, and we have a bunch of Spanish writing. Now, I could try to pronounce it and do my best at translating it because I did learn Spanish for a few years, but I don't recognize many of these words. So if any of you guys out there who maybe are in Spain, because this is probably Castilian Spanish, that's probably why I don't recognize it, uh, maybe you guys can translate this for me and let me know what it says. We have some writing up here that probably says modern music, and then there's also a date that says 1900. So was this made in 1900? Is it earlier? What does all this writing mean? We also have a name here. Maybe this is the maker, and we also have these would be the names of the songs that the roles you can insert will play, which I think is kind of neat. I imagine that's what those are. If you guys know of any of these as well, maybe you could translate those for me too. That would be kind of cool. And uh, this says Nota de Piesas. So tell me what all this stuff means. I'd love to know. There's even a, uh, a phone number here as well. This might be, is this San Francisco in California or a San Francisco in, that must be San Francisco in California. <laughs> Sorry about the dog barking. He's upset about something. But anyway, we have lots of interesting stuff here. So again, to my Spanish friends on my YouTube channel, please translate this for me. I'd love to know what this says because it's very, very interesting. And uh, it's really, really cool. So now let's take a look at the inside of the street piano. As you can see here, we have rather primitive <coughs> hammers. These hammers are uh, very much like a piano hammer in a way, but they're a lot more primitive, especially these ones here. They're literally just wood, and they're made that way so that when they strike the strings, they're really loud, and if you were out in a public town square or something, you would be able to, um, you know, to hear the piano over the hustle and bustle of the city. It looks like somebody at some point has taken some time to do some work on it because we actually have um, new copper strings on here as well as new uh, new strings in the rest of the piano. What's interesting is we have a metal harp here. So this piano was made possibly in 1900 uh, when they made uh, cast iron frames on pianos. And the hammers are very hard, like I said, to give it a very bright, loud sound. Now this is loose and there might be a way to open it. Maybe not. Maybe it opens this. Ah, it opens this way somehow. It's being held back by something. But this is where the roll is located. Is there anything on this side that's holding it back? I don't know. Maybe it slides forward. Ah, it slides forward. So that is the roll. This is the roll that activates the piano. As you can see here, oh, there's more Spanish writing on it here. It says, Organillos San Francisco, especially edad en marcado y afinado. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that all right. And again, let me know what that says because I'd love to know what that what that says. I'm sure this means specializing in something. I don't know what the second word means there. And it's a, I think it's like a wooden roll and it has these little spikes on it that as they turn, they trigger the hammer action and they make it strike against the, um, the strings. There is a screw here that drives the uh, thing. So as you turn this handle, it actually will turn the roll and there is some interesting mechanism down inside. So it's so fascinating. As you can see, it is old. This is quite old, and the inside of it is old, but somebody at some point has taken the time to restring it at some point, which is a very nice touch. Now, unfortunately, either the instrument does not hold a tune very well, or it doesn't get demonstrated very much, because it's crazy out of tune. But I wanted to give you a demonstration of what it sounds like, because it's really, really cool, and I absolutely love it. I think if it were in tune, it would be a really fun uh, conversation piece. Now, this one here, the crank on it, 
Whoops, I told you it was very loud. The crank on this one here is kind of, it's not very smooth, and so it kind of, uh, my, it's hard to get a good rhythm going, so it might sound a little bit janky. And uh, the whole thing is kind of janky. It's a little street piano, it's really cool. There's some lever on the side here, which I don't know what that does, but I have no idea. So let's give this, let's give this a listen, and hopefully you guys enjoy what it sounds like. <laughs> And then that, I guess, was the end of the song because it maybe had some silence or something. I don't know. of this very interesting street piano and uh, there's no dampers on it, the hammer's very primitive and the mechanism is very primitive as well and like I said, it's out of tune. If it were in tune, I think it would sound a bit better. But it's really cool. I love unusual instruments like this and uh, even though it's a little bit uh, worse to wear because it is very old. Oh, there's another sticker. Oh wait, did we look at this? Here's another Spanish sticker and uh, it's got lots of writing all over it and uh, if any of this looks like maybe more song list. Yeah, it says author and titles. And uh, so maybe if any of you guys would be so kind enough to translate that for me, I would love that. I'd love to know what all this says because it can probably provide a lot of valuable information about this instrument. And there's more very fine writing down there. I'm not sure if you're able to see that or not on the screen. If you are, I'd love to have a rough translation of it if it's difficult to see. So there you go. That is the street piano. We have a signature of some sort there as well, which is pretty cool. There's a big stamp that says Madrid in the center and then General de something. I can't quite read it. And my Spanish is a little bit rusty too. And as I said, I believe it's probably Castilian Spanish, which is why I don't recognize a lot of the words. Let me find the, this is the lid that went here, I think. I have to remember how it went back together. This, I think, went here. Maybe it didn't. Did it go here? So here's the decal on the front of this other street piano. As you can see, it says Jose Lopez uh, Costanilla San Pedro Ocho y Diez and then Madrid. So this is another uh, Spanish street piano and it's very interesting. Now I've been told that this instrument was actually from the 1700s and when we take a look at it, you can see that it is indeed very primitive. On the piano here on the side, you can actually see all of these little carvings that might have been written in with maybe like a little... I don't know, maybe a knife or something like that, and then painted because they're very simple. It got a treble clef with a scale and then some other arpeggio uh, type of music. This looks like a little butterfly. There's a ribbon. So it's very simple carvings, but it's also very cool carvings as well. So on the inside of this one as well is like a little picture frame with some more Spanish writing in it. So if you guys want to translate this for me as well, I would love that. We've got a name up on top. Uh, I assume that the compositor means it's he's the composer perhaps, or maybe he's the builder. Uh, it also says made in Spain there in English for some odd reason. And then we have more um, a list of music that the role can play, which is kind of cool. Now here is the inside of the piano. It's a bit different than the other one. And I've been told that this instrument dates from the 1700s. And if that is true, this is the oldest instrument I have ever reviewed on this channel, the oldest piano I've ever reviewed on the channel, and uh, an absolutely incredible thing. As you can see, there is no cast iron frame on the inside. We have uh, the wood, the pin block that the tuning pins go in. But if you look down here, there is no uh, harp. There is no cast iron frame that the uh, piano is held together by, so this piano would be a lot less uh, stable in tuning than a more modern uh, grand piano that has, or an upright piano that has a cast iron frame. And so as a result, this one is even more out of tune than the other one, And uh, but I just thought I'd give you guys a demonstration of this one as well, because it's so, so interesting. As we can see here, we have little dampers mm -hmm. that, um, they're very primitive dampers, and they just kind of rest on the strings. They're not attached to anything. So when these hammers strike the strings, these ones don't ring out for too terribly long, and they don't um, they don't muddy up the sound too much. Like so, very very interesting. As you can see, there's no dampers, so you can hear just how the piano sounds. Now, just like the other one. This instrument is powered by a crank, and this here is the crank here, and just like the other one, you turn it, this one actually has a very nice feel to it, which I have to say is very interesting. You turn it just like the other one, and it makes the instrument be powered, which I think is kind of neat. 
This here is the little uh, cover that covers up the mechanism there. As you can see, it has a little grill cloth, I'm going to call it that, uh, that's been stapled on. I'm, the staples are quite new, so I'm sure that that is a modern repair. In fact, I'm not even sure it originally had like burlap on there, but it's just a simple repair. I think it fits the, uh, the time period of the piano because it probably didn't have much anything fancier than that on there originally. And similar to the other one, this wooden piece seems to be loose. So if I'm lucky, I might be able to open it up again. It works just like the other one. Oh my goodness, look at that. I actually hadn't done this before on this piano, and that is a gigantic roll. So I'm gonna put this over here. There we go. So that is the inside, that is the roll, and it's absolutely huge. Uh, it's really wild. And uh, so now, now that you've seen, as you can see, it's the exact same mechanism as the other one. It has those little spikes on it that then go and you can even look inside there and you can, it's kind of dark, but you might be able to see where the, uh, the hammers actually get uh, triggered by the little spikes. What happens is the little spike comes down, there's a little prong down there, and then it pulls back this hammer mechanism just like so, and then when it gets past the spike, it will hit the hammer. I mean, it will hit the string, and that is how it works. And over here, we have a couple interesting things. These are like little bells that are very loud, and uh, but they get activated by the instrument as well. Need a little bit of adjustment, I think, but they're very, very cool. So let's fire this one up and have a listen to what it sounds like. Again, it's crazy out of tune, but I wanted to demonstrate this because I've never ever seen anything like this before, and I thought it would make a very, very cool video. A 1700s era street piano. Here we go. <laughs> Like I said, it's crazy out of tune and it really doesn't sound that good, but I think it's such an awesome instrument. And I think if someone were to take the time, I mean, with this particular instrument, you'd have to tune it constantly because there's no cast iron harp. It would probably constantly go out of tune if someone sneezed next to it. But it's such a cool instrument. And when I say that, I don't really mean to be cutting down the instrument. I'm just, you know, I'm being honest about the instrument, but I think it's really, really cool. And I've never seen anything like this. And I honestly, I love this instrument. I love strange instruments. I love strange pianos. And even if they're not in the greater shape, I can't really fault this instrument. It's from the 1700s from what I've been told, which is absolutely wild. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this very interesting video on this very unusual piano, uh, this very unusual pair of pianos, in fact. And if you're interested in where I found these really cool instruments, I will put the information for the store down in the description of this video. So you can come here and see these crazy things for yourself. They're amazing. I can't get over this roll. It's so huge. And uh, if you want it, they, the store has a lot of collection of really interesting instruments. They have lots of music boxes and pianos and all kinds of really cool things. So if you're interested in checking that out, you might want to uh, do that. And if you want to check out my channel as well, you can do that as well. I've got lots of videos on pianos, a couple of videos on player pianos and things like that, and uh, Nickelodeons and really cool things, but nothing quite like this. This is the first thing, this is the first time I've ever heard of a street piano that you play with a crank. So that's very, very interesting. Once again, hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to go check out my channel, you can. And if you want to subscribe, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And once again, just a final look at the inside of the street piano. I've never seen anything like this in my life. So cool.